Hey Peter, this is Johnny. Look man, I don't wanna waste your time. I just know what's going on with that property in Washburn and have a few options that can help you get the bank off your back if you're interested. Um, can you call me back in like 40 minutes? Yeah, absolutely. Right yeah, absolutely. I'll give you a call then. All right, bye-bye. Right, hey Peter, this is Johnny, how are you? Hey Johnny, how's it going? It's going um, good. Did you call him back? Um, so cut to the chase, let me give you the situation. Okay. Um, because it's not a clear, clean cut situation. Okay. So my ex-wife lives on the property. I agreed to keep my name on the property if she was going to make the, the payments for a little while. Um, she has not done that. It's uh, been active foreclosure, as I'm sure you know. Yeah. Um, and so I am all about selling the property, and I'll be honest, there's already a uh, auction date set. Um, yeah. And I think, you know, even if it were a short sale or something, it would still do better than whatever the auctions would be. Yeah. Um, and so I'm all about it. Um, but she is not acting rationally. I mm -hmm. sent her uh, an email today and said, hey, you know, we've got two teenage kids there too. Like, what are you going to do when you get a big Yeah. Um, and, you know, let's, let's sell this. Um, yeah. She's not, like, she's refusing to acknowledge it, that this is real. Mm, yeah. But, um, so, you know, I haven't been out there in over a year. Okay. Um, I live in Virginia now. Yeah, yeah. What so, part? What part of Virginia? I live in Reston. Um, uh, which is okay. just west of uh, DC and Tyson's corner. Yeah, stuff. yeah. I grew up. Uh, well, I spent. I said grew up. I spent about four years in South Riding, Virginia. So I was up north. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, it sounds yeah, like it sounds like it sounds like you got a lot going on with this property, man. Um, well, yeah, and it's only one aspect of it. But yeah, it's I'm I'm all about selling. If you can send me your information yeah. if I can convince her to look at a sale I definitely pass you know pass you that info absolutely um, awesome um but you said you said she hasn't so she hasn't really accepted the fact that she needs to sell it yet has she done yeah. anything with the mortgage to try to do a loan modification just to be able to keep the house or is she just kind of just not doing anything she tried to do a loan modification, um, uh, but it never communicated to me, and the the loan modification would obviously require my sign off. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so, you know, I, I don't know what she was trying to do because they won't do a loan modification unless you have six months of current payment. So if you're behind, they'll consider a loan modification, but you have to make payments for six months. Yeah. On time. Well, she hasn't, she's, what, eight months now behind and hasn't made any payments. Mm. Um, I was the last one to make a payment for her in February. So, uh, yeah, you know, there's, it's just not even a tenable situation. There's, she's not, she doesn't work. Um, so I don't know how she even thinks she's going to, pay the mortgage yeah um but uh and she's got 56 horses out on the property last time i heard 56 yes it's insanity um i was wow. contacted by a couple in oklahoma yeah that where she had housed six more horses out there <laughs> wow. and then stopped paying them so now they're suing her um it's it's a it's a, a absolutely crazy situation. You yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, it sounds like it. How long ago did um, you guys did you guys get this house? Uh, about three years ago, I think. Okay, so there's probably not a whole lot of equity tied into the property yet. Well, I guarantee you, there's not because when I left her, I found out about eighty thousand dollars of credit card debt that I didn't 
No, um, and I rolled that into the equity of the property when I left her over a year ago. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. you know, it's, uh, yeah. Sounds, uh, like a, sounds like a sticky situation for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, she doesn't communicate. She doesn't, I mean, yeah. she won't work or even listen to her own attorneys. So yeah. it's, yeah, I it mean, sounds like unfortunately, it. there's nothing I can do legally. Yeah. Uh, even with the kids involved. Wow. Um, wow. So, yeah. Well, look, I, I, like you said, you wanted to cut to the chase, so I'm going to cut to the chase. Buying this property for all cash, because there's no equity in it, I would have to be paying pretty much top dollar for it, which just doesn't make sense for me as an investor. But what I can do is leave that current mortgage that you guys have in place, and then I would take over the responsibility of making those payments. So. Your, if she messed up your credit at all or anything, I would actually be building your credit because I would leave that mortgage in place. I would just be responsible for making that payment each month. Does that sound like something that that could happen, or, or what, what's your opinion on that? And so, what would be the details? Would she be able to continue living on the property? Or? So, if she was paying rent, absolutely. But based off what you're saying, she doesn't work. Um, so how, how do you think she would be able to afford a, a, a rental payment? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, like I said, I, I've had the first email communication with her in a year yeah. uh, today. Okay. So, and um, so I don't know what her situation is. Uh, all I know is what her attorneys told us um, yeah and there and, and there's a there's a lot of horses out there too so i mean i'm sure she wants to remain in the property but you know it has to make sense for us uh, you, just based off what you're saying she doesn't sound like she's in a position to be a, a good renter for us no i wouldn't want her um, <laughs> I'm sure. yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Which, yeah, and just to get her on board. Um, yeah. What, a, and, what? What's a good email for you so I can send you an email with my information and everything? Yeah, it's Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S-P, at ProtonMail, P-R-O-T-O-N-M-A-I-L.com. Let me make sure I got that right. We have Morris P at protonmail.com. Yep. And if you have any issues, you got my phone number. You can give me a call back and shoot me a text. Okay. Awesome. I will do that. And you said you haven't been there in, in how long? Uh, I left, The last time I stepped foot on the property was uh, beginning of December 2021. Okay, now, that's been a long time ago, but there was nothing funky going on with the property, you no know, holes in the floor or anything, right? <laughs> no, so the property, I'm sure you haven't seen it. Uh, yeah. The property is a 46 acre property uh, in uh, a really nice area. It's, um, when I bought it, it was overgrown and everything. I had uh, improved uh, all the acreage that could be used as a uh, pasture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fenced in about 20 to 25 acres. Oh, wow. Um, it's got a two-story bar on it. I had built uh, some stalls in the bottom floor for horses, the two stalls, and um, the top floor has a finished portion. When I say finished, 
in quotes because it is finished, although I think it was done kind of on the cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as a, uh, uh, you know, a little bedroom area. Yeah. Um, the house is listed as a three bedroom. Um, I don't know that I would totally agree with that. So it's got two real bedrooms. And then the third bedroom is a, it's directly in the center of the house. Mm. And so there's no windows. It has a closet. But it goes off the kitchen. So to me, it's almost like a large pantry that somebody converted into oh, okay. a bedroom. That makes um, sense. You know, and uh, uh, it's got a basement. I mean, there's some nice features to it. Um, but uh, let me think here. I've uh, improved the driveway. Um, you know, I've done a lot of improvements on the property. Yeah, it sounds so, like it. There were, we discovered, we sinkholes in the property and somebody oh, had wow. um, uh, buried many years ago, 55 gallon drums as like a makeshift tile. Oh, wow. To flatten out the area. We had to dig them. We had the, we actually got a grant from the, the government. They came in and were supposed to dig them all up and then yeah. return that to natural creek by putting in stone and making it nice and everything. Yeah. Um, she got an uh, automatic watering system installed in the pasture land. Oh, wow. Her grant. Um, so there's there's definitely a lot of things that you look at and you go, okay, you know, these are definite improvements. I built a, uh, a large chicken coop uh, awesome. on the property, which is like 25 by 30 feet uh, big. Yeah. And um, so there's there's a lot of nice things about it, um, but uh, I couldn't even begin to guess what the current state is. Uh, yeah, that, that was my next question. I was like, you, you don't know probably how what what has happened to it. Okay. Also, well, I appreciate the rundown. You said that you built that large chicken coop. I helped my dad build a chicken coop not too long ago. How was that? So I don't like. I'm kind of a OCD perfectionist. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, the property had a shed, an old shed on it that had been a, uh, uh, a small chicken coop for a period of time. Yeah. And so off of that, I built, uh, now it's all, it's on the side of a mountain, so a very little flat ground. Mm. So I had to uh, create a, a base layer with a uh, uh, cinder block. Oh, wow. And I, what I did is I had the local sawmill cut me a whole bunch of two by twos. Mm -hmm. And what I did is I built a frame out of the two by twos, a nice looking frame with different, you know, cross games and angled beams in it. And then I stapled um, uh, the hardware cloth on the bottom. Oh, wow. Say, yeah. Three feet. And then on the top, four feet or five feet, I did chicken wire. Oh. I did that because, uh, you know, I was worried about different animals trying to get Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I took a mirror copy of that frame and I screwed it together. Wow. So the frame is now four by, or two by fours. And that was one segment. And I take that and then I connect the segments all the way down. So yeah. essentially every four feet, you've got a four by four. Oh wow! It, it's it's the most solid chicken coop I've ever seen. This sounds like a really good chicken coop. And, and I like it because all the wire is internal. There's no exposed you know, like ends awesome. of wire or anything like that. It's, yeah, yeah. All the wire is cut in between those two two by twos that I connected together. So it's you don't see any any plate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. That sounds like a really good chicken coop. You said you're a perfectionist. Are you like that with everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's also why I'm living in Virginia and I don't out there with her. So. Yeah, I hear that. What do you do? Uh, so I'm a retired military, um, and now I work as a government contractor out here. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Yeah.
shoot me that email and uh, you know I'll I'll push that to her. I'll CC my attorney too, just so he knows that this is an option. Um, so if it comes up, you know, legally, we can address it. Sounds okay. good. I don't know. It's be crazy. Oh, don't I know it? <laughs> don't I know it? But I'll send you over this email now. Uh, let's stay in communication. I want to try to help you out. Yeah, sounds good, Johnny. All right, you have a good one, man. You too. Right. Man, dude cutting the grass right by my window. I'm on the phone. Stop it. I'm not allowed to cut the grass right now. My name is Johnny Stewart. I'm looking for Charles Hare. This is Heather Hare. Hey, Heather. Do you, is that your husband? Yeah. What, what do you need? I, I was calling about the property on Fox Glen. I know the situation going on with the property, and I had a few options for you guys to try to get the bank off your back. Oh, we already reinstated. We're good. Oh, awesome, awesome. Are you guys just holding on to the house? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, is this Herman? Yeah. Hey, Herman. Hello. This is Johnny. Yeah, this is Johnny. Like, I don't want to waste your time, man. I just know what's going on with your property in Memphis, and I have a few options that could help you get the bank off your back if you're interested. Like what? What you talking about? The pro you own the property on... Yes, sir. Uh, showing that it's in foreclosure and scheduled for a trustee sale date of July 7th. Have you heard anything from your lender? Yeah. You said, yeah? No, I heard from, from, but I already took care of it, but I was just trying to listen to what you were saying. Uh, okay, if you got it taken care of, then then don't worry about it. Are you, are you looking to sell the property at all? No, sir, that's the only thing I got. I've like been standing there ever since 1997. You know, they don't want to get my stuff. Absolutely so not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what year is it? 2023? Yep, you've been in there a long time. 26 years. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. I don't want to put two out with two more, what, four more years on that house. Okay, and awesome. I let, yeah, then I would let the white folk be make their ass at me. Yeah, absolutely, no. absolutely. Well, I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad you got it taken care of and, and uh -huh. keep them off your okay. back. Herman, you have a good yeah. one. I appreciate it. All right. All right. <laughs>